It is the year 2020. Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Galactic Odyssey Collection Micron Micromasters Six Pack Announcement. Good morning. So the Earth Rise comes to a close, and usually the recolors are left within the Generation Select sets. As in the past, we received announcements for Piranicon recolored into God Neptune, and we've also seen slight retools such as Brunt into Zetar. But now, we're getting something slightly different, as Hasbro partners with Amazon to bring us exclusives known as the Galactic Odyssey Collection, featuring five planet pit stops to strange worlds as the Autobots escape from the Decepticons on Cybertron looking for Earth to find new sources of Energon. As of this review, four of the five have been revealed so far, and Hasbro is pumping these out so fast, it's hard to keep up with them. So, I'm starting with the set of figures that I'm most excited for. It's the Galactic Odyssey Encounter 2 Micromaster set from the planet Micron. Now these, like the Target Exclusive 10-pack from War for Cybertron Siege, are recolors of the individual dual package micromasters seen throughout Earthrise. So you have Hot Rod Patrol's Daddy O, or Big Daddy for those of you in the know, and Trip Up. Next, there's Roller Force and Groundhog from the Racetrack Patrol, and the Battle Squad's Direct Hit and Power Punch. All six of these are recolored into new Micromasters, some which are characters we've seen from the original 80s toy line of Micromasters, and a few brand spanking new ones. So it's a true shame we didn't get to see more Combiner Micromasters because they're the most fun, in my opinion, and they make the most sense when they combine into new weapons. So now, the Battle Squad is being turned into the yellow fire truck team from the original Micromasters team, Wheelblaze and Roadburner. Wheelblaze had already received a prior release in the Target exclusive 10 pack as a solo non combining repaint of Red Heat, who was originally named Red Hot. Presumably, this was because they hadn't yet figured out who the, the battle squad would be repainted into. This has awkwardly made it so Roadburner, who was originally the rear vehicle, is now partnered with a not Wheelblaze Autobot named Fireguard, which, to my knowledge, was never an original Micromaster. They don't look like a fire truck anymore, unless you want to reimagine this combiner duo's former Red Ladder now as a black water pump instead. Confused yet? Of course not. Let's move on. In a totally bold move, we're receiving the other two members of the Micromaster Racetrack Patrol. I know, shocking. Barricade and Motorhead to complete the team along with Groundhog and Roller Force. This is the only team now of Micromasters in the War for Cybertron trilogy to date to receive all of its original teammates. But wait, you say, isn't there already a barricade? Ah, and there's the wrinkle. Barricade, the character, now is sharing his identity between the evil Decepticon police car and the original Minibot race car. Much in the same way as we have original Megatron and Beast Wars Megatron, they are two different characters that share the same name. So this Micromaster character is being differently named to avoid confusion as Runner. So sad to see an original lose its own name as history marches on. But it's not as bad a tragedy as the original Skids sharing his namesake with Revenge of the Fallen's Skids. So every cloud has its silver lining but it's still a cloud at the end of the day. 
I'm very surprised to see Motorhead was able to retain his name considering, you know, Motorhead. But I'm not going to complain. Now, for the last two, Windstorm and Sting Racer, if the names sound alien to you, take a closer look at the colors. Do they evoke memories of time long ago? They should especially if you grew up during the time when the original Transformer toys were being released alongside other popular transforming vehicles. Maybe you remember this Kenner brand, M -m -m mask Masked Crusaders working overtime, fighting crime, fighting crime. Secret Raiders who will neutralize as soon as they arrive at the site. Yes, friends, these two homage to the most popular rides of the former 80s toy line, paying tribute to both Hondo McLean's Teal and Flame 57 Chevy Hurricane and Bruno Shepard's Orange and Black GTO sports car Stinger. This makes me very intrigued. Is it possible that we'll receive more mask property icons in the future? We've already seen a revived Ghostbusters and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers line, so if a mask revival is around the corner, I wouldn't be surprised. The last bit of interest is this collector's card that comes with secret information, apparently. As the Hasbro reps mentioned during their fans' first Friday reveal of the MicroMaster Micron Planet 6-pack. So we'll see what this is in the future. So that's what comes in this set. Six MicroMasters for about 30 US dollars. Should you pick this up? Well, cons first, of course. If you're not into MicroMasters, this set probably won't be turning the dial for you at this point. Also, the colors are a little garish as a group. But with the rest of your teams, they'll probably look fine. Also, if you're not into mask, You'll probably feel as though two of these don't belong in the ranks of the Transformers. Then there's the price. You had a 10-pack before that sold for about 40 US dollars, so now you're paying proportionally more for molds already released, but with a slight nickel and dime increase in price. And lastly, it's an Amazon exclusive, which already means it's going to be hard to get a hold of. Here's the pros though, it's more MicroMasters, so the more the merrier if you're collecting those. Completing the only MicroMaster team with Runner and Motorhead is a big deal if you're a completionist or have severe OCD. You're getting mini versions of some of the coolest mask vehicles of our times. And lastly, and here's a dirty trading secret, the last Target exclusive MicroMaster 10 packs sold for 40 bucks, but I've seen that set on eBay sold for 150. Because it was an exclusive, because it was end of the year, because it was hard to find, because Target is regional, and because shipping today makes getting toys harder in 2020, I'm betting that this set and any of the Galactic Odyssey sets are going to go up a huge amount in value in the future. So I would encourage folks who don't really like this to consider it an investment for the future. So that's it. Now I'm hoping it won't be long before we receive the final repaints of the remaining unredecoed MicroMasters from Earthrise, Astro Squad, Blastmaster and Fuser and the Military Patrol, Bombshock and Growl. It'd be a shame if we didn't. But even more shameful is if we only ever received one MicroMaster base commander. You know, like Ironworks had his little partner, Iron Tread, come up for him, right? Oh, I guess there was another one. Um, Airwave had as a partner to go along with him in uh, the 10-pack over air. Well, I feel that Hothouse and Grease Pit deserve the same treatment. You can't leave these bases unattended. They'll get attacked. So I'm waiting for those. It needs to happen. And I also hope we will one day receive transforming characters spawn out of the original MicroMaster transforming vehicle bases. Uh, 
a man can dream.